Hola community, welcome to a special episode today of uh, not Blender today, but GIMP today or something like that. We are, uh, well, this week was a special week in the uh, the Blender studio, Blender headquarters, because it, was just, it wasn't just Blender people, but actually people from another very popular open source project, open source graphics uh, project, the GIMP. So welcome. And uh, what's your name and what do you do at GIMP? Um, so my name is Jean. I'm one of the two maintainers of GIMP, and I've been contributing to GIMP uh, since uh, 2012. Um, and that's most, mostly it. Uh, yeah, I know. Actually, I, I work with uh, a film director, so we do 2D animation. It's Arium. We do the Soma mod project. Uh, so that's how I, that's how I got involved with uh, development of GIMP because. There were bugs, so we needed them fixed. Then we needed features, and uh, uh, that's how I made more and more patches. And yeah, how about you? My name is Simon. Um, I'm involved a little bit longer with GIMP. I'm involved with the GIMP project since about 1998 or something like that. And um, <coughs> yeah, I was basically interested in graphics, and at that time I was basically discovering Linux, and graphics on Linux basically meant GIMP. So. Um, yeah, at some point I got involved into the development and I'm still sticking around. <laughs> nice. All right, so I have to move this microphone all over the place because I'm usually by myself here. This <laughs> is where I do the Blender Today live streams. So in Blender Today, I usually talk about what Blender is and the community around it. Whenever I notice there is a new uh, game release, especially I mention or other open source software uh, too. I personally use um, Mainly GIMP and uh, Inkscape on my on my workflow every day. Like the all the the images and social media that you use, and it's all made uh, with GIMP. So I'm pretty happy to have the team over here. So this week was Wilbur Week, right? You, it's it's like a like a conference, like a hackathon, like a what what is it? Is it for users only for developers or? Mainly, I think it compares to ha Hackathon. That's a pretty good description, I think. Uh, we've been those, uh, doing these for quite a while now, um, um, mostly connected to other events. So at first, first we, we had a GIMP, GIMP conference. The T-shirt I'm actually wearing is uh, the first GIMP hacking conference we did in Berlin. Um, 2000. <coughs> 2000, yeah. This is where uh, basically we try to uh, connect all the GIMP developers be because mostly they are distributed ac across the world. And uh, yeah, that was actually the first time I met all those faces to the yeah. IRC Nix, basically. <laughs> how, how many people contribute to GIMP nowadays? How many would you say uh, developers are? Oh, it changes a lot. No, um, uh, uh, you, you have to make the distinction between how, uh, how many people have contributed to GIMP, which is a huge list. Uh, across the last 25 years and how many people are uh, currently contributing to GIMP, which is a way smaller list. So mm. GIMP is probably a smaller project than you would um, assume from its reach, basically. So it's like, I don't know, 10 to 20 people. Yeah, it really depends how you count. So like, I will say, uh, I, I will say like, um, yeah, 10 at, at a single point in time, 10 uh, people contributing regularly, but regularly could mean like one patch every two or three weeks. And like usually people will like contribute daily. Uh, well, it's simple. Uh, since since I came here, it, the most we had was like three people basically. Okay. Of like doing like really like all the time patches. Yeah. All right. So let's see a bit what do you worked on this week. There is a small presentation that the team here did. So I think uh, uh, Ton asked you to to give some sort of uh, like a recap, right, of the of what you did. We here at the studio every Friday, we we do this basically well, with the studio. And uh, it's nice to see that you also managed to do a similar concept. So Wilbur Week, I know you have having uh, this in Amsterdam. It's where we're in Amsterdam, so I see that you've been here in the north somewhere, having uh, having fun, but also cooking, right? <laughs> there was a special kind of <laughs> what is it? A dough? Is it yeah, like a, dough, a pizza a dough. dough? It's a pizza dough. Yeah, yeah. All right, <laughs> and uh, with this you can actually go and 
kind of put it in front of people to protect their <laughs> privacy. That's good privacy. <laughs> exactly. Don't don't use GIMP for this. Just make a pizza, and then you can protect privacy. <laughs> Who needs stickers, right? Um, also, that you were saying at a at a boat, so that's a proper pirate hackathon, exactly. right? In a way, and you, this is this this is amazing. This. Like so, what came out of out of this basically? Is like a two a.m. hacking session. Yeah, uh, yeah, actually a lot. We had a lot of uh, a lot of patches uh, this week, and it's, it's all so you see how we put on this kind of community events, huh? Yeah. Because there are some uh, contributors who who don't have a lot of time anymore, and uh, who have been here for a long time, and. Uh, but when they come here and for one week they just focus on GIMP and then suddenly you have like a huge flow of commits and everything on the uh, bug fixing or or yeah or code uh, new code new new so new implementations and uh, yeah so a lot of lot of it come came from it yeah a lot of it uh, and in the presentation you you gave you also mentioned that. Um, GIMP used to have a lot more action, like commits in its in the shape of commits in the past, uh, as compared as right now, especially after after COVID. But it's picking up speed, as uh, yeah. you are showing. This week alone, 117 commits, which they were mainly bug fixes. I heard. Yeah, it's a lot of bug fixes. Where yeah, there were a lot of uh, issues that were discovered after like a, a glib uh, change. Yeah. So the, the bug when GIMP. But the bug were hidden by an, an, the implementation of the library we were using, and we suddenly discovered them, and so we had to to fix yeah many many issues. The in the studio here, you also had uh, meetings with people from other places, right? You mentioned this is a developer working on the Wayland support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. In Wayland, color management is still like very much work in progress. Yeah. So. Uh, Actually, this this uh, session, specific session, came up with uh, a lot with uh, uh, there was one Inkscape developer on on Mastodon who who, who sent a message and said, oh, uh, it would be nice to speak about color management with GIMP and, and say, oh, we are organizing the Wilbur Week like in one month, and uh, maybe if you want, you can come and we can discuss in real. So this specific developer didn't come because he is in his US. He prefer not to 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 do the travel. But two of the uh, Winscape contributor came, and then we thought, okay, let's discuss about color management. And then, uh, since we had Blender, so let's uh, include the uh, Blender developer. So there is yeah. one who came and discussed with us. And since we have uh, some contributors uh, which also work with Red Hat and well on GTK and everything, they they got in touch with one of the main um, uh, well on developer. Yeah. Uh, so and that's how we we, we 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 just it's kind of happened like kind of organically natural. yeah organically it was not planned yeah so this is what everything you've been doing this week back fixes Google Summit of Code meetings back fixes feature feature features this issue, discussion so the roadmap also back fixes work on on the theme it's always important back fixes preparing for next year's Wilbur week do you know already uh, where in which Country is it going to be, or at least? Yeah, prob uh, yeah. I guess uh, w the thing we are currently looking at is a place near Barcelona. Oh, nice. Um, and we have been there already, uh, but this time, um, uh, the last time it was quite cold there and heating was a little bit problematic. So this year we plan to do it in August, so heating will be problematic the other way around <laughs> <laughs> cooling will be problematic yeah exactly yeah but uh but yeah well barcelona is it's uh, extremely nice do you um do you still go to libre graphics uh, meeting is this uh do you plan as, as a two different events like uh, libre graphics and wilver week do you think uh, originally, um, if you look at the history, basically the, the Libre Graphics meeting is something that evolved from the GIMP developer conferences. Basically. Oh, so, really? so yeah, the, 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 yeah, at some point uh, we had our conference uh, and thought it would be nice to, to uh, contact other projects basically to, to make sure. Uh, at that time there was were, were quite some discussions about how cut and paste could work with Inkscape. Um, and uh, how this would, uh, how, how we could agree on common standards basically, so that stuff basically works. And 
So um, Dave Neary at that time uh, was was a GIMP contributor, uh, and he got involved very much into the organizing the first Libreffix meeting in Lyon. That was like 2005, and um, so. Um, this is basically the the origin story of of the libre graphics meeting of course it's uh, and it i I, th I personally believe that it's quite an important conference and um uh, sorry. That, yeah that was an, a blender developer fucking up <laughs> um because um you you have this conference where you where um the different projects meet, uh, talk a little bit abo about um, problems, basically a little bit on the on the developer focused side, like how how do you do stuff? What were the inter 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 interesting problems for you? And also a specific focus on um, contacting or um, creating um, um, meeting meeting artists who are actually using our programs because yeah. there are not that many opportunities where these two groups really have an opportunity to meet. Uh, so um, there were also presentations or there are also presentations about uh, art projects. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so basically making a, a meeting place for uh <coughs> Yeah, developers diff between different projects, basically exchanging ideas, exchanging um, approaches to certain problems, maybe. Uh, but also, um, how do artists actually use our stuff? And uh, yeah, so basically eye-opening for everybody. <laughs> nice. So uh, uh, and yeah, the the problem currently is that uh, in the last three years or four years. Uh, 2019. Last was last, last Libre Graphics meeting was 2019. Then uh, due to COVID, mostly, mostly everything basically stopped. Yeah. So yeah. and uh, we now need to to kickstart it again, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I I really like the concept of a of a Libre Graphics meeting. You know, yeah. to get all the gra open source projects uh, together. Blender should be there more uh, often too, as well. Oh. They oh. come on. Mitch is coming. All right, the we get more people. No, yeah, huh? no, also meant no, Jim. The I other, the, the, that's the camera. Oh, camera. Oh, yeah. Here, all right. Which so is <laughs> this is very uh, unexpected. So who are you and what do you do? I'm Mitch, I'm the other maintainer of GIMP, and I'm just coming back to the project after two years of hibernation under a stone, <laughs> basically. And what do you mean by uh, maintainer? What do you do? Bug fixing, or do you focus on a specific? Currently, I'm just fixing bugs. Yeah, okay. I'm back for two days and fixed some bugs, so it's going well. You're literally two days. Yes. Since you're no, back. since since the beginning of uh, the, since um, the beginning of the of the Friday, of, Friday. of the meeting Friday. So <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> that's uh, good to hear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. So I guess that and I you're here to stay. You're gonna continue on the project. Yeah, sure. For the okay. Cool. Yes. yes. So <laughs> part of the the game 3.0 project. Exactly. Nice, because you also talked about that in the well, besides bug fixes. Uh, in the um, in the in the in the map for this for this week, so well also logo updates, which are always like a big number change, always good to <laughs> to do. I we personally at Blender, I think uh, we, the community are trying to ch make us change the logo, but we're all pretty happy <laughs> with it, <laughs> which also happens. Um, but yeah, Wilbur Foundation, that oh. is something that was, uh, that I, I think it's, it's, it can potentially change, uh, yeah. like for the better, um, the, how, how people see the, uh, the project. We, we've seen it well, Blender Foundation, this is how it's, how Blender started, but Krita Foundation also exists, Godot Foundation recently. So it only makes sense to have one for, um, for GIMP and projects related to GIMP, right? Exactly. Yeah. Indeed, yeah. So, can you talk about the, the well, Wilbur Foundation? <laughs> so, right now, it's still uh, a plan, and we have been discussing uh, with a host foundation uh, to help us because basically, on all the administrative part and everything. And um, well, we, we are basically geeks, so we don't read. So, and that's something yeah we want to try to get our own uh, entity basically to be able to do our own choices and uh, and founding development too 
So like some some yeah some of the contributors are like doing this on the side or their own business, and some li like me or Pippin who is a Giggle uh, maintenance. Giggle is our graphics engine. Uh, actually trying to make a living with free software, and it's hard actually. Uh, so that's why we thought like maybe what if like if we had like a single entity people donate and then then can helps and um, and, and something we are really trying to do also is like to keep the spirit of uh, like the community yeah, like there's something uh, for me which is very important that uh, like GIMP is not just a free software it's a community free software and uh, and that's something which I really like about this project and this team is that we like like it's it's uh, yeah, it's it's not it's not like a business it's we do stuff that we care about and everything and that's uh, so that's what we are trying we don't know yet if we I uh, hope we will succeed but uh, to make this foundation but uh, yeah that's that's planned nice it's always good to hear to make things uh, more yeah more clear where 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 things go and what is the transparency behind a project because you wanted to see it success uh, right the next uh, topic you mentioned also was Game 3.0, which is kind of a big deal, right? You've been, and for how long in, in the, the 2.x years? The 2.x? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean. Did we start the, the, the branch for the, the Gog invasion that was like. Pippin was hanging at my place and we just did it. Yeah. That was like 2014 or, or, or 12 uh, or 12, something? I think 12. 2012, uh, just after yeah. after 28. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but then there were not that many for like many years, not that many commits. And it's yeah. really the big work started on, on 210, which is yeah. 2018. After 210, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, so, yeah. So it's kind of a big deal in the... Um, I is this... Look, you are you familiar with the Blender 2.8 project? Where yeah. in 2018 we flew everyone here for many months just to uh, to to get over with it because it we also been stuck with the with the 2.x series forever, and the 2.8 was like a step towards 3.0, and since then, uh, yeah, you basically have to remove a bunch of things, clean up, clean up, clean up, and then you can make a clean slate for what's in the. Yeah, in the, in the coming future. Yeah. Is this 3.0 also a similar project? It, do you think with all the pro all the work that it's being done, would it um, like uh, make more people want to contribute, like in development or in like being involved with the roadmap? I, I think what? because just if, if at all, because GTK will be a new version, so maybe a lot of people will be willing to contribute. And uh, uh, yeah. Um, and also, uh, it will, of course, every big release get gives visibility yeah. to the project. So we always have new people. But uh, yeah, I can't. But you wanted maybe to say something. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, basically, what you said. Basically, a big release is is a big big thing. Basically, mm -hmm. which also, in some some to to a certain degree, indicates that well, this pro uh, project is still alive and kicking. Basically, so which is not always that visible. <laughs> so, yeah, um, and awesome, yeah. uh, the 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 port of GTK three is important. Um, uh, the the main reason is that unfortunately the version of GTK is part of our uh, internal API. So if you want to develop a third-party plugin for the GIMP, uh, you would have to depend on the same version of GTK where GIMP is depending on because the ooh, G libgimp provides certain widgets which are make product um, development uh, way easier and stuff like this. <coughs> so um, this is basically also what kind of kept us back with uh, port. We, we could just not port GIMP 2 to GTK 3 because this would break the API compatibility. Oh. So that is uh, <coughs> a major issue, <coughs> issue. And so this is what we will uh, kind of resolve with the port to GTK 3 because uh, when we change the major version, we are free to uh, break API compatibility, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. and we um, properly broke it. Just like yeah, we broke yeah. it. everything is different now. Like much <laughs> better. Everything is better now. So, okay. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> I guess the next question is like, okay, so what about GTK four <laughs> at some point? Uh, we try not to think about that just exactly. yet. Yeah. <laughs> so we have other problems now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but also I guess 
I cleaning up from GTK two to three would probably make G like whatever next update maybe it's so here easy. in a way yeah. like the same way we 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 i oh sorry i always try to connect it with uh, with blender because of the, our blender audience but we had we had that too like we were stuck with opengl one <laughs> one at the beginning 1.5 and then when we made the jump to the next opengl two and then like 3.3 it made things easier and vulcan hopefully is gonna be one other level so I guess it's a similar concept, right? The yeah. step from GDK 3 to 4 is certainly much smaller than the step from GDK 2 to 3. But the migration guide is still very huge. Yes, it is. Uh, I, I read it and it's still a lot of work. But we have much less shit in the code than we did with GDK 2. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah that, that for sure. I don't know how old is GDK 2, but just you, just <laughs> by looking at it, you can tell that <laughs> that it's uh, yeah that it's a bit behind. Actually, so if just if I can add yeah. something, because I know that on the internet you read all kind of stuff and like some people seem to think sometimes we're like against moving G to gtk4 or something it's just that i think like current developers we don't we it, it will sp we won't spend a lot of time now because we already spent too much on gtk3 and we are tired mm. but if like if tomorrow some developer comes with a patch and it's all, all working and it's uh game 3 becomes get on gtk4 which you say oh yeah well why not <laughs> you know yeah. that's that's it and there are certainly ways to prepare the code for gtk4 migration without actually moving to gtk4 yeah that's um and rest assured if anybody comes with a ready-made patch for gtk4 you are invited to the next few wilbur weeks as well oh <laughs> nice most likely <laughs> so okay so drinks on you <laughs> for whoever comes with a new patch yeah um so uh, besides that, you also have some plans with uh, with Wayland multi-layer selection. This I'm so happy to see. This is already in the 2.99 dev version. Some of it, right? Yeah, 2.99 yeah. is essentially GDK3. Oh, really? That is that, that is what is becoming GDK uh, 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 Game 3. I mean, Game okay. 3, yeah. yeah, so that's a development that, that version. Is a oh, yeah. Well, branch, yeah. yeah. So okay. Interesting. Yeah, I always thought of uh, 2.99 as okay. There is no more. It, nothing else after 99, so it must be the, the so development okay. version. Yeah. If, if uh, 2.99 is finished, then it will be renamed GTK, uh, Game 3. Game yeah. 3. Yeah, it's yeah. just a rename, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just a rename. And then which one will be the development version of 3.1? Uh, 3.1. Um, 3 <laughs> <laughs> it's 3.2, 3, 3, 3 actually. It's like 3.1, uh, uh, because uh, the um, even minors are exactly. re releases, odd minors are development versions. So yeah. Uh, we start yeah. on after, right after we uh, release GDK3, we will branch off GDK3, the branch GDK3.0, and c uh, development continues on uh, on GIMP, sorry, GIMP 3.0, and development continues on GIMP 3.1. Okay. That's always the development branch. Nice. So, kind of changing also to a more semantic ish. Uh, we, already have we already have done that for yeah? 20 years or so. Uh, that's always been the case. Okay. Yeah. Nice. We follow the GDK naming version naming scheme in that, and that works pretty neat. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So it's only Blender that was late to the party and <laughs> 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 from 2.93 to 3.0. Uh, other than that, uh, everything looks uh, looks looks pretty sweet. Where can people get these downloads? By the way, do you have like a like a build bot uh, or like a like a place where people can? The roadmap. The mm -hmm. uh, no for like if people want to want to test these things. I know there is the uh, Blender like the Blender. Oh, so you go to download. Yeah. And then there is just scroll down a bit and then here. The development, development downloads. Page. Nice. Two ninety nine ninety nine fourteen yes. already. And that's that's what's the w on the walk to become Game Three basically. It's also really easy to build from Git. Like uh, I built Game for the first time last week. Yeah. And it was really only a matter of check out, configure, build, and done. So but for people who don't want to build, you just click and you download and you click install. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I can tell for experience that even though Blender is very easy to to build as well, uh, we even have uh, scripts for it that will get everything and compile it for you. People still like we get as uh, almost as many downloads from the from the development builds that we get from the actual yeah. builds. It's crazy, it's crazy. People are really uh, thirst, <laughs> thirsty mm -hmm. for for development. That's, that's awesome, I didn't know. So current development release. So you actually do re release a development version. It's not like an ongoing release. Yeah, we'll release it and basically we, we 
then people just have to be aware that it's a development version, so thing, things will be broken. Okay. Uh, and so uh, like dailies. Yeah, it's it's yeah, but dailies, but more like mm, monthly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, it's more yeah, every like few six, six months ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, so, but then people can re can report bugs, and so, so, yeah, you can use it in production, but just. Uh, uh, yeah, just know, know that it's it's a development version. Yeah, but it's probably less broken than 2.10. On some ways, but yes. on other ways yes. it's more broken, but on some yeah, ways yeah, it's... Yeah. It's but uh, you can use it, it, it doesn't... Oh, it will not explode in your face sure. most of the time. Yeah, <laughs> most of yeah. the time. We do use it already, actually. Yeah. Us, yeah. All right, <coughs> I think I, I might uh, switch to the development version because I basically, for, for, wha for what I do, I think I could benefit from the from the... Yeah, from the, the what you show here in the uh, no in the annual report in the actually on the homepage of of uh, Gimp, I saw that you have also a roadmap somewhere here. Uh, Plans for twenty three Gimp three, and you talk about here about about a bit about yeah, the Roma, yeah about yeah, the Roma yeah, for yeah, three. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> so <coughs> yeah, yeah, but basically I was explaining how uh, how we are trying to get uh, fast yeah like faster development cycles. With which actually started with 2.10 already, basically having having new features even in in, in micro versions because a lot of people used to think that uh, GIMP was GIMP development was dead because they they will not get new features because in between 2.8 basically and 2.10 they were six years yeah six years yeah we were actually releasing every few months but like people kind of don't see when it's just a bug fix somehow. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, we changed it with 2.10 a little bit. So that's why we, we changed 2.10. We, we have new features in 2.10. We yeah. allow new features. Exactly. Except, of course, big ports, ports or stuff. But a new plugin or a new Kaggle operation yeah. reverse the harm, really. Yeah. So so let's uh, look forward to uh, when do you like well now is the question I think I don't know I, I think we oh yeah yes <laughs> yes last night there was a, a movie night here we were watching Star Wars Vision and uh, game sponsored the pizza which you thank you very oh, much yeah. <laughs> for that uh, it's a pizza night at the at the studio and to be continued on the next next Wilbur week uh, so you gave up this presentation today, and also invited you to have as uh, to to even prepare another Wilbur Week if you want. And uh, you also, wh where are you? Most of you based is Germany or Depen Germany, Germany, France, yeah. Germany, Norway. So we, we have people Finland. from Canada, We're from everywhere. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but mostly Europe. Uh, not necessarily. Well, yes. not, not necessarily. Uh, yes, ish. Yeah. Uh, one person from Brazil was supposed to come, but unfortunately couldn't make it. Mm. Uh, again, we have one person from Canada here. So there's one from US. Uh, right. A recent contributor, but we would we did a lot of uh, things recently, and he was supposed also to come and didn't. At the end, uh, other things uh, came up. Yeah. So yeah, a lot from everywhere actually. Yeah. All right. So well, um, then I will see you then in the <laughs> in the next World War Week. When uh, so speaking of 3.0, just to close up, when can people expect in the in the coming year, in this year, in this century, in this? <laughs> we'll try to manage this, this century basically. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, well, we, we we don't like making promises. But uh, Game Three is kind of done. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, uh, I think uh, we can. Uh, if if Mitch stays this time, I think I we can it. we can uh, we can finish it this year. I mean, Should it's it's uh, it's as uh, actually in the uh, um, uh, report you just showed before. I was saying already. I think we can have a, a release candidate this year, but at the time I was like kind of uh, alone doing most of uh, my coding and reviewing other people's coding and everything. So. Now, if uh, if we are two, uh, should be possible. Uh, uh, we should be able to release, not just release candidates, even release, yeah. you know. So, all right. Well, and then we can actually release as soon as the external API is finished, and the remaining bugs we fix in micro versions. I mean, there are always remaining bugs. Yeah. And crashes. That's you can't avoid that. It's and the, the sooner you uh, put it out there, but also maybe just update the development version to be like be like 
more recent, right? Because oh, we're, it's been we're, six we're, months. We're, yeah, we're, we're. yeah, we will so, do a Wilbur Week release basically. Yeah, so we're so definitely just showing definitely. what's coming. Ah, the Wilbur Week that. release, yeah. Yeah, uh, we, we need to ma uh, make a s splash from the photo from the pizza Wilbur. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, that I'm gonna be uh, looking forward to that because if you manage to release this year, and Blender manages to release this year, which is with with still in the plans, will be Blender four. Game three, uh, we we saw Godot four also. So all these uh, open source software reaching major releases. It's always a good. Uh, That's good. Yeah. It's always a good thing. All right. So thanks uh, again for coming. Thanks for and, uh, thank, yeah. you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank uh. you. See you in the next uh, Wilder week. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.